Hey everybody, um, before we get this video started, just want to give you guys an update. Um, it's been about, uh, I think like a week now since I posted anything. The reason for that is um, this past Monday, on Monday, um, so you guys will see this video on Sunday, I hope. So on Monday, I had uh, surgery, um, nothing major, but I had an outpatient surgery done um, to fix a deviated septum in my nose. Um, what's called um, septoplasty, not rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty is, I think, when they change the outside shape of your nose. Um, septoplasty is when they go in and actually fix the cartilage in the middle of your nose. And they also did what was called a turbinate reduction, um, which basically they, they reduce the size of these like membranes that line the insides of your nose. Um, I'd had a deviated septum for like 20 years. I had uh, busted my nose. Um, I was running down a hallway and uh, I had slipped and fallen. And when I fell, my nose, um, my face slid into an open uh, doorway. So it went into a door jam. And it you couldn't really tell it from the outside. But uh, the front of my nose here, um, this was crooked over this way in the front here. And then everything in here was was like this bent over to my left so this left side nostril had been kind of clogged up for a long time and then combined with some recent allergy problems that i'd had over the last few years it was becoming increasingly difficult for me to breathe so um i'd been talking to the va um because i get my health care through the va because i'm a veteran and uh, they looked at everything done some scans of my face and had me meet with dnt and um, finally made the, de the decision to have that fixed. Um, so uh, Monday, I went down to the big VA hospital in Charleston, South Carolina, and uh, had surgery done. Um, took like two hours um, and uh, something like that. And uh, they got everything fixed, and I've just been kind of homebound ever since Monday. Um, my girlfriend, we went to Charleston and just kind of hung out that weekend and stayed. Um, and then kind of enjoyed um, the city a little bit there um, before she had to take me into the hospital on early Monday morning. I think I was the first surgery there. I had to be there at like 6 a.m. And, uh, and then she drove me back here and, and stayed and left on Tuesday. And uh, I've just been kind of hanging out here at the house ever since um, and uh, just kind of blah. A um, lot more pain than I expected. Um, they uh i don't re really remember much of monday tuesday and wednesday i'm just kind of laying around sleeping on and off through the day um thursday was the worst i got a migraine on thursday and that one was that was really bad thursday i was in so much pain um the painkillers they gave me really didn't do much for that i actually called the nurse and they, they overnighted me some little bit stronger stuff um the biggest problem I've had is just not been able to sleep very much. I think last night was the most amount of sleep I'd gotten at one continuous time, which I think was around four hours, but most of the nights throughout the week, I've only been getting about two hours at a time. And then I wake up, um, cause like I'm used to breathing out of my nose at night and now I can't breathe out of my nose. So I'm like, I'm having to breathe through my mouth all night and then my mouth gets all dry and cotton mouth. And, uh, and then you wake up and, your lips get chapped too, which is horrible. So it's just, it's been not fun. Um, a lot of pain. I still really can't breathe. Everything in there is really swollen and congested and everything. Um, from then rearranging everything in there, it's a lot of swelling still, but uh, slowly getting a little bit better. Um, but uh, I took this video you're about to see. I did it the week before surgery and uh, just didn't have a chance to get it. Um, edited and everything but i uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on why you haven't seen anything like a week because i've been sitting around here i really haven't been able to even look at a screen at all um yesterday was the first day i'd actually gotten on my computer and kind of responded to some comments on the channel and stuff like that because i it even hurt to to look at a at a computer screen or a phone i've really just been reading and kind of napping and sleeping mostly so um but just want to give you guys an update on that i'm fine um, other than a lot of pressure and swelling and this thing is kind of still just draining out of there I kind of sound a little weird still too just from the sinus pressure in there, but um, The VA has been great um, Just want to thank my doctor dr. Rod Schlosser. I think that's how you pronounce his name 
He's the ENT who did the uh, the work on my nose. He's been great. Um, also, want to shout out the uh, um, the ENT, the main nurse there that's been taking care of my case. Her name is Tara. She's been awesome. Um, before they even gave me the surgery, she called me and explained what her role was going to be, and uh, gave me her direct line number. So if I need anything, I just call her. And uh, she's been great. Every time I've called, she's answered the phone. Anything I've needed or any questions that I've had, she's been right there. Um, and uh, when I had that migraine um, and needed some little bit stronger stuff to deal with that, they overnighted me everything and she saw to that. So everyone at the VA at Charleston, the whole team there um, has been great. Um, I know sometimes the VA doesn't get the, uh, the best rap for their medical stuff, but um, all my interactions with them through this process have been very positive. Um, the nurses, um, everyone that took me in for surgery, uh, the anesthesiologist, he was hilarious. He was a funny guy and I enjoyed dealing with him. Um, and so, uh, it's been a kind of a painful pain in the butt process. I don't want to have to go through it again, <laughs> but, uh, everyone there has been great. Um, and so, uh, but you shouldn't see any change in the shape of my face or anything like that. All they do is they, you know, I don't know if you guys can see, but they cut a little slit right here in my nose, right on the inside. And they went in there and kind of took out some cartilage and stuff like that. I'm, I got a follow-up appointment later this month. I'm really interested to talk to the doctor, ask, you know, see exactly what they found in there and what they took out, what they did. Cause I'm curious about all that stuff. So, um, just want to give you guys an update on that. I'm hoping to get back into work this week. Um, we'll see if I can. Um, I'm going to try to maybe go finish this uh, hunting lane. I'm um, cutting in a hunting lane for my brother-in-law. We kind of got it half done like three weeks ago, and then it, we weren't able to finish because it got dark that afternoon, and um, and, uh, and then it rained, and I had other things come up. So, But uh, just wanted to shout out those people. Also want to shout out my amazing girlfriend, Misty, who took care of me. Um, and, uh, um, went with me early Monday to the hospital and waited, um, while I was getting everything done and, uh, um, and then drove me back. Um, I think I was passed out pretty much the whole way home and, uh, but she came and took care of me, drove me back and stayed with me, uh, that first day, um, and just made sure I was following all the rules that the, uh, the doctors gave me. And then following, you know, taking the meds I was supposed to take and um, not messing with anything <laughs> in my nose. So, uh, you know, she's keeping me straight. So I just want to um, say thank you, love, uh, for all that you do and taking care of me. Appreciate that. And um, love you. I'm here. I'm fine. And uh, hopefully I'm going to get back into it this week and get some more stuff up on the channel and uh, get some content for you guys. So um, just wanted to shout out those people and uh i just really appreciate everybody from the channel all you guys that watch and uh hope you guys uh enjoy the video i'll catch you later all right guys this is today's little bush hogging project i'm um, trying to get some cutting in um, and cut some of this stuff down on some of the lots i maintain before fall and the winter comes so knock this down so next spring it won't be too bad um, this is five acres, so it's this lot, and then on the other side of that tree line, there's another lot, and then on the, there's another tree line, and there's another lot. So um, all three of them together is um, about five acres, and where those tree lines are, there's a ditch that separates, like a drainage ditch that separates each lot. Um, and so basically, we're just going to come in here and bush hog this down. Um, so I got the, uh, the skid steer with the MTL. Um, most of this should cut down pretty easily this lot isn't too bad um, the middle lot can be kind of a it's a little thicker um, the last lot is not that thick at all but it has a lot of trees and there's a lot of low overhang a lot of trees to work around in there it's really tight but the vegetation is almost non-existent because it just doesn't um, doesn't get a lot of sunlight <clears throat> um, this one has that thick kind of road grass um, you can see it up there in the front. Maybe it's like really tall in the front. The front always grows up really bad. So it's probably going to, the cutter usually kind of bogs down a good bit over there um, in that thicker stuff. But the rest of this um, should cut down and mulch down pretty good. And that should keep it through the winter. So uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to try to get the tripod out and get some tripod footage. But um, 
I probably won't get any footage of the last lot just because it's so low overhang in there. I'd be afraid to, to probably lose the GoPro off the top of the machine because there's a lot of trees and a lot of low overhang in there. So the machine always gets kind of scratched up in there. So, but we'll see what we can do. Let's uh, hop in the machine and get started.
right guys this little swale here is done um there's a swale that runs all the way through here uh to drain this water out one thing about these three lots is whoever did the grade work in here i guess um put these swales and ditches in here um this one's got one the middle one has one as well um and the far one has a small one but um the this one and the middle one have these ditches and swales in here which really help keep this this whole thing dry but they're kind of a pain to have to mow around um because you can't really like like in there you can't really drive into there um i usually do the the main the big ditches where all this stuff drains into that run this way um i usually cut the edge of those um like every other time or every third time uh, just to keep them knocked down i don't do it every time because uh, it's not really needed um so i just kind of run along the edge i did it i cut the ditches last time i was here so um they should hold until next spring and then i'll probably cut them down next spring they're kind of a pain to do because you have to just basically go like this all the way down the line um, and just cut what you can but this is done so this is kind of the hard part here it's just doing it in front of this swale and then the rest of it you can kind of kick it into high gear and do the rest of it. it's pretty light but this this grass up here in the front is pretty thick and uh um it will bog this cutter down and the reason for that people always ask it's like oh it's bogging that cutter down well it's like the same thing between like ripping a piece of paper and trying to rip a phone book you know one blade of grass isn't isn't much but um if you put a couple thousand of them you know two or three feet tall up underneath that cutter um it'll bog it down you know especially if it's wet it's fairly dry this time around but um you just kind of have to work your way through it go slow sometimes you have to back up and let it kind of get the grass out from underneath it but uh it'll do it it'll do it so let's finish this up
Well, there it is. And uh, I'm completely out of, uh, of batteries, the battery space on my three GoPro batteries getting the footage today. So I got still got the two other lots to do. I didn't really think I'd get this much footage off this lot, but I did. But um, it's done. I know some people might say about the drown the trees and stuff, but um, that's not part of my deal here. They just want the grass cut and the ditch is done every once in a while. So I don't have to go around and mess with getting around the trees um, over there or out here. Um, not part of the deal. So um, that's it. So at least for this lot, still got two more to do. Hopefully I can knock those out real quick and be out of here. So hope you guys enjoyed. I got a lot more lots, uh, some other fall maintenance work uh, for some mowing that's got to be done here in the next week. So uh, back on some lots you guys have probably already seen. We got to go mow those back down. So it'll be fun to go back and see what they look like and uh, see if we can get them cut down. So hope you guys are having a great week. I'll catch you later.